Ed from Pinball Mayhem here. I am in my truck. It's four and five in the morning. I woke up at four. I am heading down to the Chicagoland show. Hope to get some pictures, post them up on uh, uh, Pinball Mayhem a little bit later today. And uh, I'll take a little bit of video. It's like a walkthrough. Uh, now my uh, my portable microphone is giving me a little fit. I got a replacement today. Uh, but I am not I got to take my case off to make it work. So <laughs> I need to order another part Otherwise, I'll see you guys down there. I look forward to it Now, the one thing if you're thinking about going is I think you might have to pay the $50 pre Preview day to see the outside swap <clears throat> I'm gonna confirm that I'll report on it in my next video so that you guys know for the next show what to do See you guys there Ed from pinball mayhem here. I am at Chicagoland Jukebox, the outside swap meet on Friday morning. To confirm, yes, you do have to pay to get in. Uh, just, uh, it's about 11 o'clock, so a lot of people are, are breaking down and uh, starting to uh, bring stuff inside. So just give you an idea of what was here. It's just not a ton, but there's a lot of, a lot of really good stuff. Bar sign. I'm just gonna do a walk down. Let's look off to the left. We have a couple of people set up. Now a lot, uh, a lot of people that were set up this morning are already inside. Let's just do a walk down. I'm gonna have to power walk a little bit because some areas are bad. Seeing a lot of stuff's getting sold. I already bought the AMI W120 wall box. I need to find a page unit for it. Very beautiful mutoscope there. I think he had a second one. A lot of the stuff will be inside tomorrow for the general public, which is uh, just about uh, you know, a lot cheaper. So preview day, you have to pay 50 bucks. You get a whole weekend pass, and you get to uh, you know, buy and sell out here. Some people meeting in the parking lot. This is a great place to you make a sale, bring a part down, trade it. Now I'm going to have to power walk a little bit because this aisle is a little bit sparse, but uh, what it is is everyone kind of takes everything out. All the inside vendors sell out here for a little bit, and then they bring it inside. Let's see, you can see uh, getting kind of close to the uh, door where everyone's coming in and out. Always a soiree of activity. Yeah. And people, yeah, yeah. Now I got 50 in quarters. Sometimes people just bring a trailer or something really big and cool. A bank door and a bank sign. That's neat. I'm trying to get down to the end. I'm sorry for the bad audio. It's uh, always looking in. There's a cool Chicago coin band box. Hopefully that's turned on inside. We need to see Ryan. Uh, Sometimes you, people just leave their numbers here. They kind of have things like this. Find something cool. All right, let's keep going. Um, as you can see, a little bit of a walk. Now, earlier today, there was a few more of these that had some tables set up. I did not find any shoot the bear parts today, which is kind of a little bit disappointing. Let's see what I find inside. Might be a little bit more retail, but generally outside uh, the Chicagoland show is more project level stuff. Doesn't mean everything's cheap, but it's more project levels. Things, and when you go inside the show, the, what you see tomorrow, a lot of times just some very high-end restorations and really stuff. Even if you're not looking to buy, it's always a fun show to go to, just to see what's out there. And uh, I mean, this is this is the stuff I like. I like looking at at boxes of nice, you know, just random parts. This guy has lots of wall boxes, beautifully restored stuff. Let's keep going down to the end. They have a few stragglers, and we have kind of some people just uh, loading up inside. So, see at the end here, we got some uh, some more gas pumps. He has his boot that he's going to be some sign weights. So that, that's that's kind of the outside show this year. It was just a quick power walk. Uh, I know some guys are gonna complain it wasn't fast enough for slow enough for you guys to see everything. 
Well, I gotta come out to the show to see everything. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram.